Hello and thanks for watching Gary Teaches Maths. I'm continuing to go through the LXL higher tier paper from 2019. Um, this is paper one and we're on question seven. So this is a question involving two rectangles, A, B, C, D and P, Q, R, S. And what we're told is, given all this information here, we're told that um, Q, R is 10 centimetres. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put, write that on there. And we're given the fact that BC equals PQ. So here's BC, so going from B to C, and here's PQ going from P to Q. So we're told they're equal to each other. We're also given the perimeter of this rectangle, ABCD. Uh, we're told that that is 26 centimetres. So that's the distance all the way around the outside. And we're told that the area of PQRS equals 45 centimetres squared. So that's the area of this one. And what we've been asked to do is find the length of AB. So that's from here to here. So the first thing I think I would use on this is that PQRS has an area of 45 centimetres squared. So that will enable me to find the distance PQ because if I know if I call that x there, then the area, which is the 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 size of it in inside, is given by 10 times x, simply length times width. And if we told that's 45, then we could divide both sides by the 10 there, and what we'd end up with is x equals 45 over 10, which is actually 4.5. So we found that one. We found that that's 4.5. Now, because we're told that BC equals PQ, the value we've got there for PQ is also the value that we have for BC. So we can write on there that that one is 4.5. Now, one of the facts about this being rectangles is that opposite sides. Have the same lengths so if that one's 4.5 then so is that now what we're asked to do in the end is find the length of AB I'm just going to label that and call it Y because I've already used X so I'm going to call this Y and by the rules of rectangles then the opposite sides have equal length so we could also say that DC is of length Y as well now if we add up all these y plus 4.5 plus y plus 4.5 that will give us the perimeter which is 26. so let's do that we've got y plus y plus 4.5 plus 4.5 that's equal to 26 and if we simplify that we get 2y plus 9 equals 26 and we could subtract 9 from both sides so there we go and we end up with 2y equals 17 and just a final step to divide both sides by 2 to leave the y on its own so divide by 2 there divide by 2 there we end up with y equals 8.5 and we've done it we might want to just express it as AB, just to be absolutely sure. So AB, Y is equal to AB, is equal to 8.5. And we've done it. So I hope that's been helpful to you. If it has, please like our video and subscribe to our channel, Gary Teaches Maths. And for more help, look at our website, which is bestmathstutors.co.uk. Thanks for watching.